I've been busy off camera. Last episode, I did some cave diving. Well, uh, off camera, I did some more. I didn't want to record a full episode of just cave diving. So, I did off camera, did some resource collecting, all that good stuff. With that said, welcome to the casual survival. Sit back, relax, enjoy the video, turn it on for the background noise, whatever you need to do. And let's get started. This is what we're going to build today. A villager transformation thingy. What happens is, I have the villager we're doing the What we'll do, we'll get the villager up here using a workstation. We'll then put set a workstation over here. The villager, after he takes the job, he'll come over the trap door, which that's when I drop him in. There's a baby villager down there. I will then break the workstation so that way he doesn't have the job. Come back down here, watch the little guy run away, and this is where the fun begins. Now we just got to get Mr. Villager transformed. Let's pretend I geared him and then spawn in another one. But anyways, once the villager is here, we hit that, he falls through the trap door. Then, once he's down in the trap door, we push this minecart button, and it picks up our villager, and there we go. From that point, we open tra the gate and just get the villager where we need to go. Now let's build this in the world, this is going to take some time, so yeah, let's get started. And yes, I do know COM 1.20.2, which... So if you watched last episode, ignore the fact they upgraded and downgraded. Anyways, come when I up update update this to so 1.21, um, villager mechanics are changed, so this is going to be a lot less than an effective system, but you know what? I'm going to build it while it is effective, and we're going to take full advantage of it. We're getting a one-mending villager. So, um, where am I going? Here's our villager farm. I'm thinking, let's build this over here somewhere um i'm gonna need to clear out some trees something i've always loved the look of it, but suck at building retaining walls let's build one and hope it turns out well do me a favor uh comment down below suggestions for this right now i'm doing whether i like this or like this um so i'm just gonna leave it like how it is for now and come back and figure out more later uh in the meantime the only downside to not playing with my sound in my ears because I'm listening to YouTube videos, um, creepers can blow up and I not realize till I turn the frick around. Oh, if this was any closer to the wall, I would have been mad. Building this has taken so long. You know what? I like it. We're gonna keep it, um,. I might change the design in this portion um, to one or the other. I kind of like this one more, so if I change anything, it'll be these two. But as of right now, it's staying. I need to start working on our um, little jobby changer my thingy, which is going up here. Hence why I need this wall, because I had to fill in this grass. So, um, I'm gonna clear out these trees and figure out what I'm doing. I tend to do a lot of things off camera, and I'm not doing the time lapse just because the time it takes to set that up. And I, I don't know, I'm just curious, like, how do you guys like your Minecraft content? Like, do you like it like this, or do you like time lapses? Like, for example, let's say I cut away here and go do a time lapse, I'll actually do that quick. But yeah, a time lapse like that, like, how do you guys like that? 
I don't know. I just really want to make like the best quality videos I can. Plus, get better with Adobe. So it's like the more like complicated stuff I can do, the better. But also at the same time, I don't have a lot of time I can devote to fully editing these things. So it's like yes, I want them to be good, and yes, I want to stick to the casual thing. But I've started a lot. Like, what did I come up and since I made this? Since um, it's like I want to stick to the whole. Oh, this is just casual survival world. So just relax. So we don't doesn't need to be anything complicated. What is the piston recipe? So it's like, I don't know. I'm I'm kind of playing a lot of different things that I really want to do with this series because I want it to be fun. I want it to be a good practice for me and Adobe. I, I don't know. I just want to enjoy making this while having you guys enjoy it. So yeah, that, that's pretty much the point of this series. It's a nice casual, hey, let's just hang out and do a Minecraft series thing. But anyway, it's time to get the redstone stuff functioning here. Dude, this is going to look so good once this building's up here. And of course, Rob setting this stuff up. A freaking creeper decides to show up. Okay, he's dead. Cool. Now, um, I've got the redstone trapdoor set up. So this way, we can now just dump our, uh, not dump, but bring our villager friend down into here after we brutally murder him with a freaking zombie and kill him of his bonuses. And for the pistons. There we go, that one works, and then we just need this one on here, and there we go, we have our piston to push our unassuming victim, I mean a uh, friend, into the zombie. I've also come to the conclusion, I want these videos to be like 10 to 15 minutes long, if that, just so that way they're not too long, it's not like a chore to watch them, like I, I want them to be enjoyed while, because I mean Minecraft's a fun, nice calm game to play when you're just like, Lord, need something to do. I know what I do is if I'm watching TV or something, aka uh, watching YouTube on my phone, I'll just like hop into a Minecraft world and just mess around and just have fun. So it's like I kind of want this series to be th your guys' Minecraft in the background noise while you're doing stuff. So despite like doing chill stuff, just I don't, I don't know. I, I'm over explaining it, not putting my words together correctly, so I'll, I'll just shut up and keep messing around with this. One thing I will say though, that I highly recommend all of you do if you play Minecraft Survival, if you have a build in mind, go into creative and build it first. That way you know what you're doing, and you can just pretty much transplant it from creative into survival oh my goodness has it made building this thing so much easier i like i cannot express enough how easy it is to build this now that i already know what i'm doing from the creative build i did so yeah that's just my tip of the day building creative if you're building something in survival build it first there and then bring it over here because it does make life a lot simpler there we go that's my pro tip of the day folks um Anyways, I gotta build this. Okay, now all I need are the stairs that lead by now take me up here. And the build's done. Like this is exciting. I don't know. I I just really like the way I built this. This is probably one of my favorite builds in the world now. Um anyways, let's do this. Place that here. Yeah, that place right. Yeah, let's take a look at this from a distance. I'm going to oh wait, you know what? I need to fix this. We need to get the zombie name it and drop it in the thing so let's go get ourselves a name tag find a zombie and do exactly that okay 
I got the name tag, now I just need one of these two zombies. So to make life simpler, let's kill you. Come here, come on, come on, yep. Okay, now you can come here, and I will get you into your little cubby hole, hopefully. Hopefully I don't die doing this, that would suck. Okay, and just to get you into the hole. That was easier than I expected. I'll take it. This is what I mean when I say I can't hear creepers coming. Oh, please tell me our zombie's still alive. Okay, you're still alive, thank frick. Okay, we got Aaron the zombie. Uh, let's give you a stick also, just in case, so that way you for sure do not despawn. It'll pick it up eventually, I think. Oh, let's go see what the damage that this creeper did. I hope not too much. I, it didn't look like too much, but still, it's annoying. Um, ah, freak me. Okay. Oh, and I forgot this bed's now useless because the zombie's down there. Crud! Okay. Okay, now the biggest thing I need to do is work on the railroad system, and then we're pretty much done. So, with that said, it's done. Okay, cool. We'll see how well that snapping transition did. Probably not really well. Anyways, um, yeah, it's done. Time to see how this looks from a distance. Yeah, so last episode, I, near the end, I was like, I want to make our skyline look great. Well, that's kind of the point of building this. One, it adds another building to it, which, I mean, hey, doesn't affect the skyline much because it's a smaller building, but yeah, it's useful. But yeah, no, it does add a little bit. It's filling out this area more. Next, we need, I want to build something probably over that area or over there. I don't know yet, but I definitely want to build a lighthouse at some point. Um, yeah, this is this this was a failure from the villager transport yesterday or last episode. So I yeah, we'll just cover him back up. And looking at it from down here, it kind of blends into the wall. But you know what? I kind of like it. It looks good. I mean. It looks really good actually. I, I like how this turned out. Um, definitely probably going to change all these to this design because I like it more. But yeah, I know, I think overall, all in all, this turned out good. That's a new building style I've never done before with the little house thing and the wall. I mean, it's a wall. And of course, after a little terraforming path making a bone mealing, we now have this fully integrated into the world. And I love it. It looks great. Oh my goodness. Wow. This might be my favorite new build. Just like small builds, of course. Like new building. Like, I don't know. I, I, I really like how this turned out. It's different from what I typically do. And it, it's like integrated very well into the world. It, it looks phenomenal. Well, with that said, that is definitely going to end it for today's video. So yeah, go leave a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't yet. And with that said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day, or have a nice night in this case for me.